Hi, I'm Alexandria. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for dropping by for another episode of 10 Minute Tarot. So I'm all set up. I came up here already and I, I prepared our space. I have smudged it and myself with Palo Santo and I have my crystals out to call in the four directions and four suits in the Rider Waite deck, which is the one that we're working with. And I am looking at the major arcana right now and doing one card at a time. I'm just drawing them there so they can present themselves to me rather than going in any particular order. So I'm channeling first. So I'm gonna first present the channeled message I got from this card, which I'm about to reveal. And then I will go and share with you whatever other sort of meanings are associated with this card. And I keep track of all this in a handy little tarot journal, which I highly recommend. I'm, really liking having one and I, I think it's a lot, it's nicer than just kind of having your notes anywhere. So the card I drew today was card number three and in the deck it is, and it is the Empress. So I'll bring it nice and close so you can get a, a look at her. Okay, so I just channeled her and I just simply went into channel and asked, um, what do you want me to know about you and how you how it pertains to my life? Oh, before I actually begin that, she's also in one of the videos I saw that was dating like an old, old video going way back with the history of tarot. I've been really immersed in myself. Uh, one of the reference called her the queen of the world. So I really liked that uh, much more than the empress. So in my personal notes and that's and when I'm doing readings, that's what she is as far as I'm concerned is queen of the world. So she says, I am mother, I am Isis, the original goddess, uh, who's also Venus, who's also Aphrodite, who has a thousand other names, um, but she's like, so she's very much goddess energy. I am wealth and abundance. I bring messages of prosperity and birthing new things for people. I am love, as symbolized by my Venus shield. So there it is, the symbol of Venus on her shield there. I wear a crown of 12 stars representing the divine council of 12 star beings, of which I am one, and I carry my wand of light to guide way showers and light workers. I am in lush surroundings and wear a pomegranate robe. Pomegranates are, are known for us to be a symbol of abundance. Uh, I wear a pomegranate robe, which can also be a maternity gown. So in many depictions in tarot, she will be pregnant. But she's just talking about, so she's wearing this beautiful gown and it can double as a maternity gown. Um, and so she has a, a statement, a, she summarized everything and it could also be an affirmation for you. She says, new life can be yours when you see the abundance all around you. So there she is in all, her, all of her glory. And I, I was really surprised that she talked about the uh, being part of the Divine Council of Twelve. Uh, the star beings who I channel, which um, have just started coming through for me probably about a month ago that they identified themselves as that. So I do channel lots of, uh, like another group for myself personally and my own higher self and higher selves of others and higher selves of animals and, and uh, now tarot. <laughs> so, okay. So that's the message. Now let's see what, well, there will be a review in this book. Let's see what they say about the Empress. The Earth Goddess takes your impulse, stirs it to life, and presides over your labor, whether it's a baby, a book, or another new project. And then it asks you, um, are you caring for yourself? Is it time to water your spiritual garden? Do you realize you're beautiful? Love, but don't hover. What you nurture will serve, will thrive. And then it says, call your mother. <laughs> I wish I could do that. If your mother is still on the airplane and you can, yeah, give her a call. It's getting close to Mother's Day. Anyway, just another week or so. So, yeah. My mother transitioned coming on four years ago now, but she did bequeath this deck to me, which is part of why I'm so passionate about it now and just really want to learn the roots and also to share it with you and anyone else you know, who is learning about tarot. 
Okay, so in the Tarot Bible, they say, Here's another image of her in this book. So they're all a little bit different, but there's a lot of similarities also. Keywords are action, development, feminine vitality, sensual pleasure, abundance, compassion, creativity, nurturing, and overall feeling good about life. Some key phrases are focusing on beauty and art, being in harmony with the natural world, being extravagant, luxurious living, sexual awareness, sensual awareness. So in their interpretation, they say that the Empress re represents the creative nurturing aspect of the feminine. Her archetype is of abundance, fertility, and creativity. This card is concerned with nature, the arts, grace, beauty, and on the flip side, uh, greed, possessiveness, and overindulgence. When you draw this card in a you now position, it can indicate your nurturing instinct is powerful and you need to concentrate on creating harmony in your relationships. Alternately, perhaps you need to nurture your own, er, your own heart or get in touch with your sexual needs. This card can indicate that you're in the process of mothering someone or about to become a mother. It can also suggest a mother figure is going to be an important influence in your life. If you draw this card in a future outcome position, you can be assured of progress in any plan, however daunting it may seem. She's on your side. If you have asked a question about relationships, the Empress indicates you might have to motivate your partner or mother them. It can also suggest that there's a disruptive female influence in your life, especially if the blockage in the blockage position. This could be someone at work or your mother. Material wealth or property will be important for you in a future position, if this card comes up in a future position, but it's also time to be creative with your life rather than assume things will just fall into your lap. The Empress reveals that you must be aware of your instinctive nature as well as the rational. So, and I mean, if you were to look at her up in other sources, there would be other definitions. There's this like, really know into it, which is why I'm really recommending that you just take some time, whether or not you feel you can channel. Um, it's really not hard. I mean, I've been doing it a long time, so it seems really easy for me, but basically you just would connect with the image and just write down your thoughts about it and uh, see what you get. So here she is again, queen of the world. I like that because who wouldn't want to see the queen of the world, especially if it comes up in a you position. So, um, so I'm hoping that all of you who are female already feel like you're queen of the world. <laughs> if not, you know, polish up that crown a little bit and have some fun with this. So thank you for watching and I invite you to, you know, comment for sure. Let me know what the cards mean to you. Let me know if, if this is helping you at all um, with connecting with your own cards. And don't forget, bring the ritual. Do whatever makes you feel. Like I wear a special, oh, I forgot my special. I didn't forget it, it slipped off me. <laughs> I did have my special robe, so I didn't forget. So just doing these things and making sure your area is beautiful and someplace you really want to be, that will really accentuate these readings for you. So even if you're just doing like a three card draw or one card draw, take the time to prepare your space because this is a sacred time that you're creating just for you. And the more that you bring it, the more you're going to get out of it. So big love everybody. Thanks for watching and bye for now. <laughs>